That job was a great job. I loved that job. I had that job for a long time, but it wasn't all good days. I'm going to tell you a story about the worst day I ever had at that job, okay? Now, this story begins with me. I have to explain. I was a recreational therapist, okay? I used to work with kids that have disabilities, and my job would be to, like, help them have fun. That was my whole thing. It was a really sweet gig. So I'm working with this new client, okay? And he lives in a medical facility I've never been to before. All right, now I would describe this kid as having a little bit of autism and tons of cerebral palsy, okay? I would describe him as like Paul's to the walls, all right? <laughs> so much palsy, all right? It's, it's so much, it's okay, he's not here. And <laughs> no, he has a great sense of humor. So I'm there with him, I meet him, he's there with his nurse, okay? And I'm like, hey, what do you want to do today? And he's like, I want to play video games. And I'm like, you got it, buddy. So we're going to play video games. I'm meeting this kid. And his nurse is like, hey, I have an emergency. My shift is over. I got to go. The next nurse will be here in like 15 minutes. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, hey, probably don't leave me alone with this kid. I'm not like qualified to take care of him. And she's like, don't worry. The next nurse will be here. So she leaves me with him. We're hanging out, playing video games. Everything's going fine, OK? You know, everything's going well. It's like 30 minutes. This nurse isn't here yet. Another 30 minutes, she hasn't shown up. And I'm like, what is going on? And then he's like, hey, I'm getting really hungry. I'm like, well, I don't live here. I don't know where food is. I got Doritos in my bag. You want to share some Doritos? He goes, yeah, man, that sounds great. So we're eating Doritos, playing video games. Everything's going fine. About 45 minutes goes by. Now he starts doing this shaking thing in his chair. And I'm like, hey, man, what's this? And he goes, oh, this is my poop dance. I'm like, what? What is that, and why do you have it? You know? What do you mean? And he goes, yeah, uh, I have diarrhea. How could you possibly know that? And he goes, because I'm allergic to corn, and you gave me Doritos. <laughs> yeah. What, what, why did you let me give you Doritos then? To which he replies, uh, because they're delicious? <laughs> I'm like, all right, OK. <laughs> Fair. So he's like, I gotta go. And I'm like, dude, I'm not qualified to like take you out of your straps and help you. I'm not like a medical professional. I don't know what to do. And he's like, you're gonna help me or you're gonna watch me poop my pants. <laughs> yeah, he was making so much eye contact. I was like, I choose the other thing. I always choose the other thing. What is the thing that's not watching you poop your pants? I choose that one, you know? I do not want any part of this. And he's like, I, I don't want to help him, but I need to. And I'm like, listen, I don't know what to do. And he's like, I don't need help, man. You're making it more complicated than it needs to be. All I need help with is pulling up my pants at the end and getting back into my chair. And I was like, you can do everything yourself. And he was like, yeah. And I was very specific. I go, you can even wipe yourself? And he was very condescending. He goes, yeah, I can wipe myself. So I'm like, all right, I guess I'll help you. So I'm pushing him around this facility, trying to find a bathroom. I've never been here before. I'm like kicking down doors and people are like, hey man, what's going on? And I'm like, uh, this kid's gonna poop. And they're like, what? And I'm like, already gone, you know? The nurses the next day are like, I guess a guy with face tattoos kidnapped a kid? I don't, <laughs> someone was pooping? I'm not sure what's going on here anymore, you know? So I'm pushing him around this facility, trying to find a place. I push him into the first bathroom I find, and there's, and we get inside, and he goes, hey man, there's no railing in here. And I'm like, we're looking for a bathroom, not a set of stairs. <laughs> so, so he's like, this is the place, it doesn't matter, it's happening. And I'm like, okay, what do you need from me? And he's like, you're gonna be a railing now. And I'm like, okay. So I wheel him up to the toilet, and I stand on the other side, and I put my arm out, and I'm helping him up. And I'm getting him undone so that he can go to the bathroom. And I realize I'm pinned into the corner of the bathroom near the toilet. And I'm like, oh no, I have to get around him. So I start getting around him, and that's when he has a palsy spasm, and he falls into my lap and proceeds to poop everywhere, okay? <laughs> There's so many, it's like Lucky Charms and Doritos <laughs> and shame. It's so gross. It's so, so gross. And I'm like, no! And as I'm yelling out, his head lulls back and he sneezes into my mouth, okay? Yeah. I felt some of you being like, well, Shane, that's pretty gross, but step it up, buddy. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah. Sneeze into my mouth. I'm trying not to puke at this point. Just uh, hard. So gross. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Okay. And then he looks up at me and with no irony, he goes, I lied to you. I'm going to need help wiping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was my worst day at work. 